Hey friends, welcome to my Wicked Witches and Wizards theme party. It is a toddler friendly theme and in this video I have crafts and DIYs including how to make a witch under five dollars, how to make a Halloween wreath for about five dollars, um, how to make a witch garland for ten dollars, activities for toddlers for a Halloween party, and basically how to deck out your whole house in outdoor for pretty inexpensively. These are easy fun crafts to do with or without kiddos and again my theme is a wicked witches and wizards hocus pocus kind of feel bewitching um, it's it again it is toddler friendly so it's not too scary. Halloween is gr a great holiday to be really creative and to bust out your like DIY and your creativity so I really encourage everyone to use your creativity and try to do it budget friendly and reuse items from the previous years. So I'll be walking you through what I did this year and some of the things that I've used in previous years. So here is a ghost. It glows in the dark and it's one of those activities that I created with my son and we put it on this Christmas tree. So this is not a Halloween tree, but we added a set of lights and some decoration, so it looks a little spooky. So for Halloween, it's really important to deck out the front of your house for trick-or-treaters, and it also gives you like the, the spooky spirit for the month. I normally start in the beginning of the month, and so I have decorations for the whole month. So I got these corn stalks from the local garden center. These are the witches that I made and I'll show how I made those later in the video. Most of the decorations in this area are from the Dollar Tree. And if you don't like something at the Dollar Tree or these like dollar stores, you could repurpose things and make it more to your liking. Um, and that's usually what I do. Those bats are from last year. They're just basically a foam stencil that I made. That is a spider web that I put up for this year as the first time. And I got that from Five Below and along with that big spider. And I put those on my roses. Those are my climbing roses. And as you can see, things are still green. So it was easy to put that there. These ghosts are from Target and they're super cute. And the place looks really cool at night as well. The colors that I focused on were purple, black, and hints of green here and there. Um, orange is obviously a big Halloween color, but I try to not have it overpower the other colors. These are crafts um, I got from the dollar store as well. So I do a lot of crafting with my son, including painting. So just make sure you have washable paint and these items we got from the dollar store and then we hung it on the tree and made the tree look spooky. This is one that he did. So I'm gonna do, walk you through this quick, easy DIY wreath. It's all from the, the dollar store. Um, you could get the, the, the fabric, the boa, the ribbons, the wreath itself and you just easily could put this together. I got the owl from AC Moore from the previous year and that was a dollar and I added the lights and the lights are from Home Depot. It's nice to add little bits of light and color in your space for Halloween. So now I'm going to get into this witch's hat garland. So I bought three identical hats and I am going to use the space that I use for a Christmas garland and I'm just going to put it on the same nails. So some ribbon, two types of ribbon I got. I'm also using some thread and you could get this basically from these little kits that sell all over and I am going to create this garland. So first I'm going to get my thread and I'm going to thread it 
my needle through with the thread. Um, make sure you do everything with double knots, triple knots. And so that's basically a circle with the needle inside. And I'm just gonna go around a couple of loops in the hat, just making sure I have a good, strong um, knot there. And basically do it a couple times. You cut the thread and then you knot it making a circle so just enough space for you to just put it on wherever you're going to hang it and so you do basically two more of these depending on your space that you have and when i did i just put them up so that each one has its own nail and then i took the ribbon um, and i just put it and draped it across it's nothing crazy, but it kind of looks cool and spooky, and it looks way more expensive than it was. This cost $10. So this is what the outdoor looks like at night. So I have a set of lights on the railway. Those are lights from inside. Um, I have a set of bats on my outdoor wreath. And this is one of the witches and it kind of glows pink these lights um, I really wanted them to be purple but they kind of glow more pink and it, it, it works it's okay it's not like the end of the world and everything just has this like this pink glow on it it, it, it still looks spooky even though um, I was aiming for purple and those are the ghosts over there on the side so now I'm going to get into the DIY for the witches. Um, I look at Pinterest for ideas and so I was trying to get some inspiration off of Pinterest. Some of the DIY witches that I saw weren't really to my liking. So I'll go into like what I did. So in order to make the witches, you need something to keep it upright. So for the first one, I used my child's shovel. For the second set that I did, I used a, a broom from the dollar store. Along with that, I use plastic tablecloth, necklaces, hat, a hanger for body, cord, rope, and twine. Decorating your door can be one of the funnest things for your little person. So I normally buy a lot of these um, holiday jelly and I have him stick them on. I try to have him stick them higher on so I'll bring sometimes a little stool so he can stick them higher up because when they're usually pretty low they fall off. Now I'm going to quickly walk you through the house. This is the foyer and these are some wicked boots. This is my Halloween tree with a little house that we put assembled together. The ghost that glows in the dark along with the cats and the hats that we painted and they come in wood color and we painted them in black and purple and some of them with a little orange. This is the house um, and all the parts that come with it. This is a cute little garland that I found and sometimes it's easier to buy things than to assemble it and they last longer, typically. Um, some pumpkins, some real pumpkins, and some fake pumpkins. This is my hat garland, my witch's hat garland. And in the back there's a spooky sign and a cat. This is the garland that I was going to put on the back door the day of the party. This is a spiderweb along with a happy Halloween sign. So one of the first activities that we'll probably do is we'll paint these face maps. The next activity that I saw was pin the spider game. The next game that I got is an I Spy game. So there's basically a scary house, but as you can see, nothing's really too scary. It's all kind of cute and they have these cards thanks for checking out this video have a happy and safe halloween